up guys welcome back so today we are going to be talking about five makeup products that i think are totally worth checking out from hourglass cosmetics overwhelmingly i really do enjoy hourglass as a brand i just feel like the products that they release are so well thought out you know like those brands that just release products every single week and you sort of can just tell that they're just releasing product just to release product i feel like hourglass is definitely not that type of brand and i feel like they're sort of the complete opposite they will release product pretty infrequently but when they do it's just so well thought out the products are always so beautiful and they always become like instant favorites of mine i hope that you guys are going to enjoy it don't forget to let me know some of your favorite products from hourglass and let me know some products that you're not a fan of i would love to get a good conversation going down below in the comments of course give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already that's enough talking let's get into it let's first talk about the caution mascara from hourglass this is by far probably one of my top three all-time favorite mascaras so i have this problem where no matter what mascara i put on i will always experience some sort of flaking or smudging or just you know transferring somewhere on my face there are very very few mascaras that that doesn't happen to me with and those are the mascaras that become my favorites because they're basically the only ones that i'm able to wear but sometimes it's annoying because the mascaras that will often like not smudge or flake don't really make my lashes look so good so it's sort of like a give or take type of situation so what i love so much about the hourglass caution mascara is that this is probably the most like smudge proof flake proof budge proof mascara that i've ever tried but it also makes my lashes look amazing and another great thing about this product is that it isn't waterproof so it doesn't take like 30,000 makeup wipes and five different oil makeup removers to actually get it off your lashes at the end of the day it comes off quite easily which is very very pleasant because normally with a product that stays on as well as this one does it takes like literally half a bottle of like coconut oil to get it off of your lashes besides the fact that this does not move on the lashes like i said it does make my lashes look amazing and i definitely have to contribute that to the wand and what the wand actually looks like so this is one of my favorite type of wands it's really nice and fibery so um the bristles are very fluffy and i find that if you want to know what your lashes are going to look like with a specific mascara you got to look at the wand so if the wand has really like fluffy fibers then it's going to give your lashes a bit more of like a fluffier look if the wand is really spiky then it's going to give your lashes a bit more of like a spikier separated look it does create some really nice volume especially at the base of the lashes it does give my lashes a little bit of length but i wouldn't say this is like an extremely lengthening mascara so if you're looking for something that's really really lengthening you may not love this but if you're looking for something to give you that volume and just like fluffiness to your lashes whew, it's so good. So the Kosh Mascara is definitely right at the top of my list. So now let's talk about the Hourglass Ambu Lighting Powders. You can't have an Hourglass video without talking about these powders. I feel like it's sort of what Hourglass is most known for. So since they initially released these powders, they now have like a bunch of different types. They have finishing powders, blushes, and bronzers in this formula. And I want to sort of like recommend them all, but I specifically want to talk about the finishing powders because I do think that those finishing powders are sort of like the OG in the lineup and it's what I think are like the most special in the lineup as well so the ambient lighting powders do come in a bunch of different finishes just depending on sort of what you want there's different undertones there's different um, levels of like glowiness and sparkliness now one of my personal favorites is this one over here and this is dim light what's really nice about dim light is that it does have some really nice glow to it but it's not overly glowy so it's not a powder that is completely flat that will completely mattify you so this is a powder that is so so ideal if you have dry skin or if you have mature skin this is the most redundant thing that i say in all of my videos but i'm gonna say it again i have dry skin and i don't like powder powder makes me feel and look pretty dry and i just don't think it's a very flattering look so there are very few powders that i would willingly put all over my face dim light is definitely one of them what makes these ambient lighting powders super special is the texture the texture is incredibly incredibly finely milled it's so finely milled that when you touch it it almost feels a little bit creamy so because of that texture it just sits on the skin in such a flattering and beautiful way it, it doesn't settle into your fine lines it doesn't accentuate any dryness it almost just smooths over the skin and gives a really beautiful airbrush and just poreless look to the skin while still keeping a really nice glow especially with the dim light formula now hourglass comes out with these ambient lighting palettes during like the holiday season and i really want to recommend this one over here because i am so obsessed with it and i think it is probably one of my favorites that they've released and i think this is a really great little palette to try if you want to sort of just like dip your toes in the ambient 
lighting powder water and you want to try a little bit of everything so in this palette you have two finishing powders one bronzer two blushes and one metallic strobe powder and if you are a bride oh my god god damn these are just perfection they look so good in photographs so i'm going to switch gears a little bit it's time to now talk about a primer this is the number 28 primer serum this is not what the full size bottle looks like by the way this is my little travel size i don't know where my full size bottle went texture is sort of like a thickish oil so when you put it on your skin it just gives your face the most incredible very very moisturized feeling so this product is my absolute favorite when i want to completely transform a foundation or any base product that's just a little bit too dry or that is too matte because I do have a drier skin type really dry and matte foundations don't really work on my skin it just looks really dry and cakey but there are foundations that are more on like the drier matte side that I still sort of enjoy wearing because they last really well on the skin so for example the Fenty pro filter foundation I love love the way that one wears but it can just be slightly too drying However, when I layer it with this primer underneath, it just sort of gives the right amount of moisture to the foundation so that it actually sits on my skin comfortably and so that it makes my skin look amazing. And it'll also give the foundation just like the slightest bit more of a glow, which I really like. I don't know how much you would like this. If you have a oilier skin type, you probably actually would really not like this. But if you have a dry skin type, like this is a total must have. I do have a lot of different types of moisturizing primers in my collection and they all work really well, but I really feel like the number 28 just sort of like goes the extra step because it is that more like oily formula but it's that like perfect oily formula that doesn't make the skin too like greasy and slippy but also just enough as well for it to actually you know do its job okay next up let's talk about the scattered light eyeshadows <sighs> so beautiful these are the eyeshadows that I like to wear when I want to do something very simple on my eyes but also very impactful just like every other hourglass product they took something that could very easily become very like flashing in your face and they refined it and made it sophisticated and that is what I love so much about these scattered light eyeshadows so even though these are pressed glitter eyeshadows and they're very sparkly they're not too much or too in your face and I think the reason why that is is because the glitter that is in all of these eyeshadows are really fine so when you see the eyeshadow on the eye, it almost doesn't even read as glittery. It just reads as very glossy, which just makes it so incredibly wearable. Like you can 100% wear a shadow like this to work and not feel completely overdone because what's also really nice about these eyeshadows is that yes, you can make it really intense and opaque. Like I really pack that on the back of my hand, but you could also take a very small amount of product and just tap a little bit on the lid to create something a little bit more sheer and just give your lid a bit more of like a wash of color and sparkle. So as you can see right over here, that is using a very small amount of product and it just gives the skin a really nice wash of shimmer and a little bit of color, but it's way more subtle than something like this, which is still pretty wearable in my opinion. Okay guys, so the very last product that I want to talk about that I absolutely adore from the brand is actually another powder. It is the Veil Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm going to keep this really simple. If you are looking for a loose powder that will completely blur your complexion, will make your skin look really nice and smooth, will make your skin look pretty much poreless, and will also set down your makeup without it looking dry or cakey, Mmm, this guy is so freaking good. Now, I normally don't really like to bake with loose powder just because I feel like it makes my skin look really, really heavy and it makes it look way drier than it needs to be. However, this is one of the very few powders that I'm actually able to layer and layer and layer and just like pile on my face and no matter what, it will never look heavy and it will never look overdone. I really do feel like this powder excels in just making it look like you have a filter on your skin, like a soft focus filter, just completely blurring out your face and it just makes your skin look like a baby's butt. Now I do wanna mention the design of this product, which isn't the most important thing in the world, but you know, it is, it is a nice plus, especially when you are paying a certain price for a more luxe product. I really love the way this powder actually dispenses because it doesn't allow too much powder to actually come through. So it stops you from over applying and it also stops you from wasting too much product. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts on the products that I mentioned today and let me know some more hourglass products that you love and maybe some products that you feel like aren't really worth picking up. Leave me all of your thoughts down there. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.